Episode 7 of Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Shake and Bake, Them Summer Boys Sex Toys, Vibrator Smash Taters. And we're on the train getting out of town. Getting out of town, man. It got a little too spooky after we bombed the place. But it seems like they've already told us pretty early in the game that we're not responsible for that. The viewer knows that. Ooh, this dynamic lighting. Let's go. How dare they say they're doing that? Dude, how are people already talking about you? Like, how does news travel so fast? Ooh, look at that butt. Dumb. Mm -hmm. Hey. Wow. wow, it looks like her legs look that age. Like, she looks good all around, but they just. I did wouldn't a great mind job. if she. That's all I need was. to say. A childhood um, friend I'd like to fuck. Uh, oh, dude, look, guys, look. The oh, arrow. Oh, there it is. You gotta squeeze. Oh. I feel yeah. like your hair doesn't look as shitty and grainy as it did earlier. Hey, give it a second. Let it get in the light. Look, look, see? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Keenan, what do you think of that? Well, so I think Is that, it from the Mako? I think it's because uh, this should be running on optimally on a PS4 Pro. Oh. I, I think it's that. Okay. I Crashing think it's my gear, huh? No, dude. I mean, who the fuck has a <laughs> PS4 Pro? Like the, oh, a lot of people, I think. <laughs> the, I would have thought the, Jimmy. The price is insane. Hey, Wedge, these people don't like you either, man. Leave All I want to do is pass out and eat a hamburger and eat a chicken wing and eat a fucking giant spoonful of whipped cream. You guys don't stand out at all just like with your weapons and gear and like fucking beefing with each other <laughs> well dude remember so remember this in the guy's first like these guys are beefing right now look at that guy's sword right in front of me remember in the first one you guys go into a different train car and everyone literally runs away yeah excuse me excuse me now look at these bozos hey lady are you upset about the place got bombed <laughs> hey ladies did you, did you recently go through a hair uh breakup why's your haircut so short like how big do you think the fire was all right i gotta keep going Surface? Who's saying that? Oh, That's all you ever are saying, God. Jesse. Constantly. Oh, dude. Oh, if we have to go through this entire rail tutorial again. <laughs> then just come in standing right in front of them. What kind of maniacs would do this? And he's standing there. That 900 pound man with a gun. Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, don't use double negatives like that. Everyone like, knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just who do you think you are? Well, clearly I'm a member of Avalanche. CEO of Avalanche. <laughs> I wear six belts at all times. Yeah, like, why would you antagonize someone with a fucking gun arm? What's Definitely. your angle? Definitely don't antagonize that guy. Not to mention that he's just like a ginormous, crazily jacked human being. He is huge. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's like 480 pounds. Why is he picking on these business people? <laughs> he's really, really being a bully. Like, hey, no, oh man, come on. They're just trying to be positive. They're trying to go to work. They did a better job of making the likable uh, office people this time. Well, so we haven't gotten to this point. Ooh. Oh, ooh, I, yeah, I just like right. them now. <laughs> yeah. A round of applause. He's like, I'm gonna punch you in the dick, man. You got coming over here though, just being like, look guys, Avalanche is really dope, okay? Fucking say it, say it. <laughs> Avalanche like, is really cool, say it. their leader is very strong, and his gun arm is awesome, okay? <laughs> that was probably a fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a standardized fuck. So, we didn't get to this point in the original. Uh, we will. Time for a little nap. Um. But um, Cummin has a history with Shinra. Okay. Like, besides them bleeding the planet dry of Mako and all that stuff, he also has a history with them, uh, which you will learn probably in this. Um, it is like mom and dad used to work there and then they got killed. Uh, dude, it's some fact that you'll see. You will see. Hey, Jesse, what are you watching? You're just watching me, Jesse. Jesse. I think you gotta talk to her. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's about time. I Let's get this out of the way, and she undoes your zipper. Yeah, still needs to clean that smudge off your face, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't do it. See, I told you. There. 
and I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't. People keep saying that to me, and I don't know what they mean. <laughs> now come here. I'm gonna boop your snoot. Still the same graphics inside of their computers. A shining beacon of our civilization. Dude, that was so funny in the original when you said that the Shinra HQ looked like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's just in this building shaped like a cat, I guess. <laughs> oh, I hope they do this whole, that whole stupid metaphor thing. Well, metaphor thing. It's just like this train. Can't go anywhere except where its rails take it. <laughs> when they're talking about like people who live in the slums versus up on the plate. Yeah. Which, dude, like... A very styly idea for 1997 that a lot of other dystopian novels just straight up stole, pretty much. Oh, really? I mean, dude, isn't that what The Hunger Games is, kind of? The metaphor? No. Oh, you mean like class divisions? Big class division, class but like literal class division. Like here's the where the poor people live and then here's the rich part. It's been around for a while, man. Brave New World, right? It's because of that great big uh, yeah, yeah, I read a book. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, he's bitching again. Shimmer sucks up the mico and the soil turns to dust and the air fills with smog and the flowers die and my balls just come out little powder like... <laughs> That's what's always worked for me. That's what always worked for me. Abandoning. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all well and good if you're only out for years. Like, well, yeah, yeah, man. The down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? Oh, okay, he actually has eyes. <laughs> You well, have dude, eyes? I, well, I was worried because that scar next to his eyes. I was worried he was going to have like one eye or some shit. No, nah, it's just a cool scar. Because he does not have sunglasses in the original. Looks like this is train, I guess. There's only one way it can go, man. The way it's going. Oh, they cut out a lot of it. Yeah, he, he cut out his soliloquy. All right. I don't like games that give you achievements just for progressing through the game every achievement should be something that is optional say in the comments if you think keenan's right or if you think hey it's just a game everybody should get some rewards every now and again you should motherfucking smash that <laughs> um yeah because you know i don't know why you gotta have beef with just oh that looked like john leguizamo You guys think John Leguizamo's in this game? Like stuck in this game? <laughs> <laughs> guys, help, get me out. You gotta get me out of here. <laughs> Just sweating. <laughs> Cummins like, get out of here. <laughs> Hot damn. Oh, dude, they made him like a uh, special. Dude, Wedge, stop talking about bombs. He's just screaming about bombs. <laughs> they Thank, you. Thank you, Cummins. Thank you. Wedge is still like, why though? Now time to get some R&R, &R, some ropes and retaliation. He kind of started it though. He got off the train and be like, yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> and he also accosted the people on the train. <laughs> well, and remember in the original too, he like runs away from the whole group and then turns around and is like, meet at the secret hideout. <laughs> Don't keep her waiting. Who? Who's he talking about? Chafilf. Chafilf, uh -oh. baby. Oh, man. My favorite, my favorite lady, who uh, I found out is voiced by the uh, extremely hot and talented Britt Barron. Who's uh, that? She is in Glow. She's like the punk chick in Glow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, and she's probably done other things. But I know this her guy. Sorry. From what? I know her mostly from being hot on Instagram. Huh, Mako? Hmm, I doubt it. Dumbasses. <laughs> Why does he get a speech? He doesn't even have a name. Undercity resident. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, Cloud's having way too many visions. I don't know. I think they do a better job of that. I feel like, no, but I feel like so they were far. really sparse in the original and just like every two, there's another Dementor. Thought it was a big worm at first. Oh god, I can't believe it's Voldemort. God, these fucking Mako junkies. <laughs> <laughs> like uh like Mako's like uh spice in Dune. <laughs> it just uh just turns y'all crazy. Dude, look at Wedge. 
Look at him right, running right on Biggs' ass. Yeah, dude, just Biggs toddling. like, dude, come on, give me a little space. Just toddling on those fucking tiny legs. Biggs, you, Biggs, you think we can blow more shit up? You need to get dude. right on Jesse, you know what I mean? Dude, is there one woman in this game that isn't wearing like a midriff shirt and booty shorts? I hope not. <laughs> I mean, <Got> <laughs> really, oh, like, found one. Every woman's pretty scantily clad so far. Wait, no. That's a dude. Except for, no. I guess, that business I don't lady. Know. Tough to say. <laughs> hey, hey, baby. Hey, how's it going? Hello, <laughs> just hello, like, hello, hello. You can just randomly catcall women in the street in this one. <laughs> is there a chest anywhere? No. You guys see any good loot I can steal from these slums? All right. It looks we like can probably loot later. I want more story. There she is. Oh, yeah. Oh, Marlene's little, really little. She's like six or some shit. <laughs> She's like, Marlene, go get him a beer. <laughs> I don't know. I think Jafilf's hotter in the original. Yeah, me too. <laughs> With her polygon titties. <laughs> She's got better legs. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. Yeah, I think they made Jesse hotter than her. I mean, this she one, always was, dude. She always was. That's what I was always trying to tell you. I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Oh, wow. Already spotted the flower. Oh, like, dude, what the fuck is this? Dude, please give it to her. Please give it to her. Me? Oh, look. Oh, she can't believe it. When did you get so thoughtful? When Yellow flower you lost. So <laughs> well, you know, before in the original, you could choose. You could choose whether you gave the flower to uh, Chafilf or to Marlene. Seems like this time I don't have any choice. I just gotta uh, bang your filth. Man, I really, I really want to do before we end. I really want to do the scene about your promise. What do you mean, do it? We well, you know, like go through it. Have it be part of this episode. Oh, you think it's gonna happen here? If it, yeah, this is the part where it happens. Oh, okay. So I'll talk to her. Me? Me? I don't know. Doubt it. All right, I guess I'll do it. Well, you can talk to both of them. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all of that. Hey, this guy's... Oh, fuck. That money for some Marlene schooling. <laughs> Dude, he, there's no way he'd have a college fund for a six-year-old. Dude, he thinks ahead. He's responsible. <laughs> <laughs> he's Dude, a responsible he's responsible terrorist. Dude. I mean, having that gun on his arm turned out to be a pretty good idea. A lot of foresight there. Daddy never talks to strangers? Daddy says never talk to strangers. Oh, okay. Oh, remembering daddy's lessons. Why doesn't she remember who Cloud is? Why would she? That little girl? You know what else good girls do? They make me a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired though, daddy. <laughs> daddy, I just want to go to bed. Nah, you fucking get that curse out. Not till your shift ends, Marlene. Do you want another <laughs> fucking lesson? <laughs> Give daddy your tips. And don't sass me. <laughs> He's like, hey guys, what about my money? Oh, they should talk outside about your promise. No, dude, it was about the money. Oh. I said, where's my money? And she's like, yeah, about that. Let's go over here outside to talk. Do the people who died all return to the planet? How does she know about that? How do any of y'all know about that? Well, Cummins shouldn't be running his mouth to Ariana, six Ariana Grande had to tell you. <laughs> Before we get into money, Nice. You gotta go Ooh. to an abandoned Dude, you're apartment. Already, you're already moving in with. Oh, just he could say that. <laughs> sure does. Thanks. Oh, you sure. Your own Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's where I gotta sleep. Oh my. Can't God. have me sleeping in. Uh, that's something that has changed. Can't sleep in a little boy's room anymore. <laughs> well, dude. So yeah, that's true. That little boy who had three beds for some reason, and was like, "You gotta give me ten gil." Well, no, so uh, the first night you seriously like slept on the floor of the pinball room. You know, you take the pinball elevator downstairs. Yeah. And you slept on the floor. And then in the morning, Chafil asks you how you sleep. And you're like, next to you, who wouldn't sleep good? I chose to say that, right? I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, that was a choice. So I don't know. I would think in 2020 uh, that it would just be like, next to you, who wouldn't? And she was like, mm. Sure. Like a uh, wax. Uh, what kind of shoes are those? Rain boots. Oh boy, fake news. Gotta have fucking political commentary in the game that comes out in 2020. It. 
Oh, he's just, he was just uh, basically saying like the news is just a Shinra mouthpiece. And it's and fake. And can't okay. believe what they say. <laughs> yeah. Stargazer Heights. They only so. give uh, they only give shitholes names like that. Room two hundred one here is where I sleep. Don't have time for I much mean, else. What with seven. Okay. Not Here's where I sleep, just you know, in case you need to stop by. It's yeah. right here. Okay. And, uh, the, and and the lock's broken, so I mean, like you can just come in anytime you want. It's right there, next to yours. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget the way back. All right. You did? Yeah, I just said that two minutes ago. Oh. Yes. I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that? Yes, it was too much. That was a lot of to say. But I guess it's fine. Why does everyone cream over him? Like, is it is it like <laughs> he's so he's just like the strong silent type? I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's getting late. I'll introduce you to who? Tomorrow to the oh, landlady. Tomorrow. So I think she's trying to tell you go inside and go to bed. I guess I will. Knew it. They did. They did oh. give her. Dude, what the fuck? It's a little bear. Dude, she's standing in front of the door like she's Louis C.K. <laughs> Damn, you heard it here first. Them <laughs> summer boys. You like Keenan's burn? Smash that like button. Smash it. <laughs> he does not get a pass. This this episode brought to you by Energizer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what did she give me? Dude, she gave you 500 gil, and in the original, you get like 15 hundo. So Oof. wait a minute. This is usually when I pay you. Wait, what? As long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that too. Never mind. No, what? Enough. That's what we agreed Damn, on. he gets uh. Be the price. He gets fleeced in this one too. He's being a lot nicer the about guy. the money though. Look at him. Look at him pan down a little bit. Yeah. No yeah. Problem. Yeah. This cool. one's come. This is Cummins doing. He's like, "Hey, filth, you go pay him the money. Flash your tits a little, and then give him like a fraction <laughs> of what he what we owe him." Cummins was like. Chafilf, if you want to get paid, you better go tell him he's not. <laughs> like, All right, come and I will. Just shake him around a little bit, remind him of his promise, and then get out of there. And shake him down. All right. Whoa. Oh. Wow, really? What? <laughs> just, he just like kick flipped out of bed. And then grabbed his sword from nowhere. Are there any Harry Potters around here? Guess it's time for time for introductions. What does that mean? Oh, so this noise. is a new addition. This is my yeah. pad. Here's a Mr. Spunky's got his own pad, man. But I think it it's is, probably about that time. It is about is that, that sweet? time, man. Very uh, great. Look we're at. We're never it. gonna find out about the promise. Well, it'll probably be next time. 